in our last staff meeting, I was talking to the staff about the big little words in the Bible. You know what I mean, small words that make a big difference when you read them in the context of Scripture so that you have trust in the Lord with all your heart. So that we say, such is our faith in God through Christ. When we say, whosoever believeth in him. Big little words. I came across a big little word in the book of Philippians. The second chapter and the first verse. And this word is so important that it's used not once, but four times in the context of this passage. Listen to what the Bible says. Therefore, if there is any consolation in Christ, if any comfort of love, if any fellowship of the Spirit, if any affection and mercy, fulfill my joy by being like-minded, having the same love, being of one accord and of one mind. If, 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 if. You know, for some people, the word if is a negative word. If I'd only thought about it in time. If you had only been there. If things had only turned out differently. It becomes a, an expression of regret over past failures. But when the Lord uses it, it becomes an expression of confidence in today and tomorrow. If consolation in Christ. If comfort of love. If fellowship of the Spirit, if affection and mercy, if all of those things are active and functioning in your life, then the Lord is going to bless you in a powerful way. Whatever may come your way today, this is what I know. If you trust the Lord, He will be faithful. He will take care of you, and you will have a positive future. Let's pray together. Father, thank you for that big little word, if, that we find in Philippians that reminds us of all the promises of God and of the plans and the presence of God and the reminder that if we trust you, you will always be faithful. Lord, today we depend upon you. Bless us as we look forward to what you have planned. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen.